Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Leah Brock. I do vlogs, fashion videos, makeup videos, anything under the sun and anything I really want to do. Um, today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial, but a holiday specific makeup tutorial. I feel like this look is definitely great for your holiday parties, not necessarily with the mask on, but I think it's cute and like who knows, maybe this is good for a little Zoom sesh with your family. You guys could probably tell that I did have a little bit of a hiatus the last week, but I'm happy to be back and I'm ready to start making some more content now that I'm done with school. So I don't want this intro to be very long, so let's just get into the video. So my skin is already um, prepped with a primer and a moisturizer, so we're gonna go right into the foundation. So um, the foundation that we're using today is Fenty Beauty, and this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear foundation. Um, it's actually not even my foundation, it's my mom's, but I don't have Fenty and I wanted to try it, so here we are. I think we're going to keep the foundation light today, but we are going to do a really fun eye look. I hate when girls don't blend their makeup into their neck. Like, definitely when you're wearing like low tops, it's so important. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm doing. Sorry if I'm using the viewfinder on the camera is that I don't have a mirror except this one, but I also wanna see that I don't look like a clown on this camera, you know? Now we're going to go in with some concealer. I'm pretty sure this is Maybelline, but the um, logo is scratched off. You know a product is good when the logo scratches off. Um, this is in Honey Mill, and obviously this is too light for me, but a great concealer um, and a great way to lighten up the face. I want to apologize for um, kind of going MIA the last week. My exams have just been really, really crazy. I have one more week left of school, so that's why I have not been on the YouTubes and blogging, but I am going to be picking up that now since I'm almost done with school, and I believe that it's a little bit more maintainable. See, I should, we're putting my hair back. Give me a quick second. Okay, so why is this actually a look? This is, this is not a cute. Okay, now that my hair is, is tied back, we can keep going. But yeah, no, it's just life has been really crazy the last couple of days, and so I've just been trying to get my homework and my life together. And you know, I just feel so badly for all the students out here right now who are trying to get their work done and literally just graduate in the middle of a pandemic. Um, college is hard, it doesn't matter what time, <laughs> um, it doesn't matter when you go to college, but college is hard, and definitely right now, in the pandemic, it's a lot. So I completely understand if your mental health is waning right now, um, cause mine is. Hopefully your student, your teachers are being, you know, kind and understanding during this time because God is it hard. I'm almost out, literally I'm a junior, so it's like I feel like I should just stay. Let's just finish it, let's just pound it out. I have literally three more semesters left and I graduate, so it's like, girl, let's just try to get through it, you know? So that's what we're doing, we're pushing away, we're trekking away. But I'm also sick and tired of waiting to start my career. If you don't know, I go to school for musical theater. Um, I'm a performer, singer, dancer, actor, I do it all. Um, but my thing is, is that it's like we're constantly waiting to start our career. We're also constantly waiting for someone to give us a role. And I just want to start. And so I'm doing things like YouTube. I'm doing things like Black and Common to kind of just like make me feel like I don't have to, make me feel like I'm waiting, you know? I just wanna start. In a way, I have started, you know? So, I'm, I'm doing good, it's just, 
School is definitely taking a lot of my energy and time right now, and I don't necessarily like that, so it's time, it's time. Oh, this looks good. My makeup looks good in this camera. I tried doing this video one time before, and it wasn't really good. I did like an everyday look and called it a holiday look, and that really started to irk me in editing, so here we are doing it again. So we're gonna go in with the contour. I'm literally using my Morph palette. And we're just gonna go in with the cheeks. Cool. So that's what I've been up to. Just really just trying to get through school and really just figure out what I wanna do after school. I think that's another thing that the pand pandemic did for me is really just like throw me out of the school loop and school world because you can get so caught in those four years of like this is what I'm doing right now and there's nothing after this but I really was like okay what is life gonna be for me in the next uh, two years what does that look like and that really started to make me anxious no one knows because COVID like there's so much up in the air right now I really can't plan for much and also being an actor and in the theater community there's not a lot of jobs happening right now for um you know actors and so you know covid has taught me just as like an actor to like expand on my talents and also acknowledge talents that i've kind of ignored before because i was like i'm an actor i just want to act i just want to make sure that I'm giving that my full attention, but like those other talents that I have can actually benefit me as well and I should use them. Um, that's another thing that COVID has taught me. It's like, what am I doing? We, have, we are so talented, we have so many talents and we just don't, we don't use them. Right now I'm using this blush, it's not even blush, it's a, lips, a lipstick or a lip gloss. It's called Shiny Color Crayon. I don't even know who this is from. I don't even know. But it's a light, and that's why I like it. Um, so we're just gonna do this on the blush area. And I like to do it in like, up like that. And I use my fingers to blend this out. What was I talking about? Yeah, no, I have a multitude of talents. That's what I was talking about. I have a multitude of talents, and I was kind of ashamed to use them because I was like, no, I need to focus on my acting. I know, no, I need to focus on my singing. But, like, it's okay to have other talents. It's okay to be multi-talented. Like, I haven't done songwriting in a very long time. I just started writing new songs. Um, I also am really interested in interior design so I've just been you know filming that and putting that on my Instagram and having fun with like playing with aesthetics and things like that and also marketing and branding for Black and Common I never thought that I would be doing marketing right now and obviously and that's why I like being a creative because with being a creative you can be anything and everything it doesn't matter there's there's no there's nothing that's limited I don't feel like I'm in a box like I could do marketing and interior design or whatever or YouTube for a month or two or maybe even a year and then I jump back right back into the acting world and I start auditioning again. So it's like there's nothing there's nothing holding you back when you become a creative, you know? Like you can take a break from acting and then come back when you're ready. There's no one or nothing that's telling you you can't. Um you really do have the reins on your career when it comes to things like that. Okay, so this is the foundation look. I love that the blush gives me a little bit of a shine, kind of like a duo highlight um, blush moment. So now I think I'm gonna go into the eyebrows. I, I don't like to do much to them except fill them in um, and then also kind of like draw them in the middle because I feel like my eyebrows are so far apart. <laughs> what I've learned um, with eyebrows is that you literally, you make an outline of your eyebrow like that and then you just lightly draw them in. Mm -hmm. 
And then do the other one. I'm living for this scarf and like and button up top. This is like kind of a vibe. I think I'm gonna do this all day. Anyway. For some reason, I like this eyebrow better than this eyebrow. This one, I feel like, I don't know. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now, um, I'm going to do some eyeshadow. I think I want to do a cute little cut crease moment. I don't think I do my makeup right. I don't put primer on my eye. I don't do any cream. Um, I mean, I could if I really wanted to. I have... Give me a second. Should I do it? Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna be like all the other YouTuber guru girls and put some type of cream base on my eye. I don't know if it's a primer or what, but she'd be doing the job. So this is a Glossier concealer, which is called um, Stretch Concealer in the color of dark. Mind you, this is nobody's dark. I was really, really concerned about that. I was like, what? But I found a way to use it anyways. Um, and we're going to use it as a primer slash, I don't know, cream product before we put things on our eyes. So I do this, and we do this. We're just going to blend it out on the lid. The holidays this year is so weird for me. Um, usually our Christmases are very, very big. We have all of my family come back, and we, um, you know... We go ham, we celebrate, and we have a great time. Um, but this year, obviously, with COVID, it's different. And I think knowing that the COVID cases are the worst they've ever been, or the death total each day is higher than 9-11, is really just putting everything in perspective for me. And I think that it's really starting to become very real um, during the holiday season just because I just know that I can't see everybody and it's just not going to be the same. It's hard. It's sad. It really is. But we got to do what we got to do. So I've just been really trying to have a good time and like, you know, do the things that you can do. Obviously watching Christmas movies and looking at Christmas lights and baking and, you know, things like that. But besides that actually being in the same room with your loved ones is really hard right now and so I'm thinking about the family who the people who are really having a hard time um not being able to see their family members and I hope and pray if we can start getting things under control then we can see each other so um that has been on my heart lately what we're about to use is this nudish color and put that on our eyelids Now we're going to take a brown, like, peanut butter color, and we're going to put that on our whole eye. Great. Now that we have the brown on, then we're going to go in with the peachy color that we just put on. So we're going to use this shimmer. This is an e.l.f. glitter stick, and I'm just going to put that right here in the center of our eye, and then we're gonna blend it out with the brush that we were using before. And then what I wanna do is I wanna use a high lighter color, like a white color, the inner corner. I'm going to take a brown eyeliner and we're just gonna smudge the bottom of my eye. And it's not much of a cut crease for me right now, so we're just going to add some more on the top eyelid. I'm just going to follow it like that. Ooh. And then we're going to take the brush we were using and blend it in. After we blend and the eyeshadow is... I think it's done. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. We're going to add some eyeliner to the top lashes and we're going to do a wing. I like to do a thin wing just because that's my jam. So that's what we're going to do. Look, I can't do a lot of things, but I can do my eyeliner. Okay, so... 
Yeah, the eyeliner is done. Okay, great. Now we're going to do some lashes. Maybelline Last Sensational. I'm a fan of this mascara. Great. Now we're going to do see some contour for my nose. We're gonna use this top color up here, this brown right here. For highlight, we're gonna use that same e.l.f. stick. I kind of want to go in with some more contour really quickly. And now, the girl of the hour is the red lip. I don't think you can go to a holiday party without a red lip. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to line my lips with a brown liner. And the girl of the hour is the long, what is it, Infinity Long Wear Matte Lip Cream in this brand. I don't, y'all, I wouldn't even know how to say that. Yes, I don't think you can go to a dinner party without doing a red lip. And I also hate how mask you can't wear lipstick anymore. Really, all you need to do is eyebrows and your eyeshadow and you're done. But since we're on YouTube, we can do this. Also, black girls who are watching this video, hi girl. Line your lips with brown eyeliner because it, for some reason, the lipstick just finishes nicely. I don't know. So, here we go. So... While that's drying, I have a feeling it's gonna dry a little differently. And if not, we're gonna put some more brown powder or like something in it, cause I do like my red lipsticks to be on the more browner side. While that's kind of doing its thing and matting, I do kind of want to set my face, so we're gonna put some powder on. I know I'm not doing this like the Broody Gurus. I know I'm not doing this right. I bet they like set their face literally like multiple steps ago. But um, here we are. We just let that sit for a little bit. And I will come back when I am done baking. Okay guys, it's been a minute, so I'm gonna start wiping this powder off my face. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And the way that this um, lipstick kind of settled, I kind of want to put some more brown powder in there, so I'm going to take the brown powder that I've been using for this whole video the darkest shade right here in my morph palette and we're just going to go like that and get the inner corners and then I'm gonna take my makeup foundation brush and just kind of clean up the edges and we are done um, if you guys are looking for a new wig, my first wig is the place to go. You need to go. I'm going to sit. I'll put all of the information on this wig specifically in the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the final look. I am very, very, very pleased with it. Now I'm just going to go chill and lounge around my house and probably take a cute selfie or two with this new makeup look. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys would like to see next. Yes, Vlogmas is going to continue. I know I did take a week hiatus. That is a lot of content that did not come out, but why not just keep going? Let's start. And also, like, things don't get really interesting until the, like, last week or two running up to Christmas. So I think I'm definitely going to have some more content for you guys that's going to be more interesting than the first five videos that you guys already saw. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.